Hello everybody, it's JC Fixer 6 here. Today we're going to do a back flush of my 2005 F250. Um, it's been about a month and I'm doing this one to clarify a few items. Um, plus we're getting ready to haul the trailer out for a, a while so I thought it would be a good idea just to run it through. There's the uh, combination of the 90 degree fitting and the 45 degree hose fitting, the swivel hose fitting that you get at your Home Depot or Lowe's, all attached to the back to the oil cooler back flush valve. Short section of garden hose over to a throttle hose gun, whatever you want to call it, and then garden hose and take it down to the highest pressure point you have at your house where you get the best flow and the best pressure. Drain the radiator. Let me get out of the shadow here. Drain the radiator. Disconnect the bottom radiator hose. Have a pan sitting there to catch the outflow and see what all um, comes out of the oil cooler. So, everything's set up to go. Just start applying water. Watch for the results in the pan. There it comes. What I typically do is let it flow for five or six minutes and then start uh, working with the, the gun here, changing the pressure, pulsing to get as much stuff loosened up and out of the oil cooler as possible. It's like it's flowing pretty well. We'll just let it go there for a while. One other thing I'd suggest doing is maybe you're five or ten minutes into the back flush is to go ahead and turn the engine a few times, just hit it, hit the starter real quick so that it doesn't start, but it repositions the water pump just to anything that might be caught in there or washed through there from the oil cooler. It repositions it and allows it to be flushed out also. So I'm just going to hit that a few times here. And no reason to start it, just reposition that water pump. Keep letting it flow. One other thing you're going to want to do before you call it quits with the with the back flush is, you know, let turn the water off, let it drain out for a minute or two. You can see the results of the back flush and pan in there. I think you can see some solids down on the bottom there. Doesn't look like a lot, but it doesn't take much to start plugging up that oil cooler and generate restrictions. But so before you close it all up, pour a gallon or two of distilled water down through the uh, 90 or 45 degree. You can you can run it through the hose here if you want to. I usually just take a funnel, connect it up at the fitting, pour a gallon of distilled water through it, let it all drain out. And then you can start button it back up. And that's what's involved in a oil cooler back flush valve. It's JC from Fixer 6. Hope it helped out and hope it helps you. Thanks.